welcome to Vintage Finds. Today we are at a very different Goodwill. I have never been here before. Let me show you. I am sitting outside Value Village. I don't want to be here, but I am here because everywhere else the shelves are empty and it is ridiculous. Like I can, and I don't have time to make several trips to Goodwill and thrift, the Salvation Army thrift store every day or every other day just to see if new stuff does come in. So I am at Value Village. Just trying to make rich people more richer. Also, they sent me a coupon, but that's not the reason why I'm here. The, the primary reason I'm here is because they will have more variety, unfortunately. So, I am here. Um, my goal today is to find items that I can sell for $40 or more. Um, I gotta stop buying stuff that sells for cheap because I might be selling the quantity, but I'm not making the money. So, <clears throat> how about I drop it to 35? If I can sell it for 35 and more, I get it. Otherwise, I don't get it. That's my goal. Um, <clears throat> what else? If I look tan, it's because I went to Jamaica. Jamaica, Bahamas, la 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 la. Is that the same? Why am I looking at sponges? Don't ask me. Sometimes I just like to waste my time. How much do you want to bet that the scratched off price is actually $7.99 and that is what they're selling this for? Lots of regrets for not getting this, and I believe it was $14.99. I should have probably gotten it because it's rare to have a round candy dish like that. So these are the price of $4.99 inside, like they were from the thrift store, like Salvation Army, and then they were selling it for $9.99. Didn't even bother to take off the price tag from the Salvation Army. I'm pretty sure these are gold plated, therefore the price of the plate is $14.99 and the cup was something like $6.99 I guess. I'm looking at this ladybug because it's really cute. Yes I know I can't sell it for $35 but it's pretty cute. I was trying to find any epic mirrors, but I did not see any here. Some artwork, but nothing that was calling out to me too desperately. <clears throat> Even though this one is quite unique and I did put it in my cart, it kind of gave me the vibe that it was incomplete. I know it's not incomplete, but it gave me the urge to paint it and complete it. <laughs> I put it in my cart, but I didn't actually end up getting it because once again, I do not have time for any projects. 
if you look at this closely there's a bear hugging this woman it's kind of cool it's watercolor it was $13.99 but quite contemporary so I left it Lots of cool prints. If you were trying to decorate your home, these were awesome. I can't believe I missed the zebras. That would have been awesome to grab. Just the black and white and the stripes like that. It's kind of trippy. I like that. <laughs> The Japanese art was print was kind of cool. This frame looks quite vintage, but I didn't like that its centerpieces were missing, whatever pictures were there. I once again did not want something that I needed to work. This boho style wall hanging wasn't bad either. However, I'm pretty sure the boho style is going out of style. So I left it for somebody who was still into it. I thought I found something tiki related, but this one was made in China and had a like light in there. And I wasn't even sure if it was wood, to be honest. I grabbed this because I think if you were to put this for $13.99 in your washroom and you could pile up hand towels or even spare, put it on your toilet and spare toilet paper I think it's a cool basket especially since it's brass so for my personal use I didn't mind spending the $13.99 however if I do sell it I think I'd likely be selling it for $25 max so right away I haven't stuck with my plan of <laughs> buying something that I could resell for $35 Nothing too enticing here, so I don't even think I picked up anything or even looked at anything here. I like that they kind of color coordinated their vases, so if you were looking for a specific color, you wanted a combination, you know, you could just grab all of these. <laughs> I saw this Instagram reel where this lady was putting her scrunchies on something like this where it's tall like a tall vase that has a base and you can put your scrunchies on it and it looks gorgeous because if you think outside the box there's so many other uses for the same items that you might not you know realize anyways I was looking for a crystal jar to put my bath salts in like the cool one like the brown one I saw earlier but not round because I feel like I would drop stuff and it's not really meant for daily use or even weekly use here's a cage um, it, I know people like these and it was for $8.49 but I was not going to be able to sell this for $35 so I left it plus it is not vintage
I was trying to find espresso cups or a set of espresso cups, uh, potentially six of them, because I sold them at the antique uh, booth that I have. But all I saw were sets of four. I wonder though if they just put sets of four together and I would have found sets of eight to separate it. So I found these um, for $9.99. There were six pieces and they gave me the vibe that they might be for green tea or one of those, you know, digestive teas that you have at the end of a big meal and maybe not espressos. These beautiful plates were really beautiful for $7.99, but they were only selling for about $25 online. This kind of uh, print. If this print had birds on it, because there was another similar one with birds that was selling for way more, if this one had birds on it, it would sell for way more. So for $7.99, for both of them, only selling for another $25 is just a lot of work. So I left them behind. So here I almost got a decanter, but I haven't really sold the ones in my antique booth, so I'm not going to get new ones unless they're completely different or epic or you know what I mean. Don't worry, I did see that massive brass ice bucket. They had listed it for, I believe, $34. $34.99, so <laughs> I wasn't going to be able to sell it for $35 and still make a profit, so I didn't bother getting it. I found some awesome perfume bottles though. Look at them, they're just sitting there pretending to be olive oil bottles, but they're not. So this one was really cute. I know it's missing the top part, which was such a shame because it's a gorgeous bottle. Very unique, very crystal. So here's the perfume bottles. It's a set of two. It says four piece $9.99. What they mean is the top and the bottom. Here's an antique Victorian pot that's silver plated. I know it's Victorian because of the design and then I did Google search it. It goes for a lot, but I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna just sell it for 40 bucks or max. Here's some copper, has wood handles, but I don't think I would be able to sell that for more than 15, 20 dollars. hand-blown heart-shaped glass but um, not going to be able to sell it alone for 35 so I left it I really wanted to get this one it's so beautiful I could have probably used it as a vase for my personal self but I it wasn't priced and I didn't want to get it for myself either I have too many things these looked quite pretty there was a set of two I did like them but once again um, can't sell them for 35 just for the two of them So I looked through the teapot section and I didn't see anything, but I actually did find something here, which I'll show you guys because I did come back to it and I found it. Looky, looky, what did I find? These are beautiful Mikasa candle holders, not chipped at all. And they were very reasonably priced at $3.99 for the two of them. And I was like, what? Maybe there was some old stock in the back that they put out again because they were in a spot that they weren't supposed to be. And they looked great. They're not exactly antique, but they're gorgeous.
So here I'm trying to find any sort of cocktail glasses that are colored, um, but also vintage. These ones were colored, but not vintage and definitely not crystal. These ones definitely colored. There was a, a set of six and I kind of like them. But then you know what? I realized I didn't like them that much. They were $12.99 for the set of six, I think. What I did like were colorless uh, crystal glasses, very elegant. There was eight of them, but because I was looking for specifically colored glass, I didn't end up buying them, but I will show them to you. Here I thought, wow, these are awesome. There's a set of two and I've sold two of these before. Something similar. For $4.99, I'll get them. But you know what? The second glass had a carving on it, so no. I left them. Here are the beautiful crystal glasses with the long faceted stems. They looked so elegant when you held them. They were gorgeous. There was another ver bigger version of them at the bottom as well. So this was $7.99 for six pieces, four pieces, and then another $7.99 for four pieces. So technically there were eight pieces, not to mention the bigger ones at the bottom shelf as well. So seriously, anyone looking for wine glasses, please, please, please check the thrift stores first. Even value village if you have to, at least you're buying for yourself. I thought these little jars were so cute for $6.99. Um, I was thinking maybe I could sell the set for maybe $20, $25. But the rubber inside the tops were not working properly. So I left those behind as well. Okay, look at this little cauldron type creamer. It looks Japanese. I couldn't find any markings on it though. And this cup was definitely contemporary from maybe the US or something for $5.99. I don't know if it was worth $5.99 to be honest. This was kind of cute though. <laughs> I wish I found a set of these. I believe these are like asparagus or vegetable dishes after you steam them. You can just put them in there and put them in the oven too. It was $6.49 for one of these two pieces because it's the top and the bottom. I thought this wine holder, wine bottle holder was brass, but it wasn't because it was scratching off and it was silver inside. So I think they had just kind of painted it gold to look like brass. These ones are silver, they're not gold, they're just trying to trick you. <laughs> I've been fooled before, so I left those. That's a juicer, old school juicer, but in glass, which is kind of cool. Um, someone tell me if this is something special. I think I've seen this pattern somewhere. Maybe it is something. I never even googled it. I don't know why. It's just sometimes my brain is tired. There's a Nike shoe in the pot section. So that's kind of cool. Surprise. Here we are in the candle section. Uh, this lady was kind of being a little I don't know what to call it sometimes I maybe I do this too and I just don't know it when I'm in an aisle I'm trying to take over the aisle maybe look like a cool brass candle holder but it's from the body shop of all things so this these hands like this they're for a phone maybe a book but mostly for a phone it's a phone holder
she finally moved out of the way and guess what I found a beautiful candelabra here it is um, it's silver and it kind of the it's kind of blackening so I'm wondering if it is actually silver plated um, it kind of looks vintage to be honest I haven't really done a lot of research on it for $6.99 I can definitely sell it for $35 If you think that I missed these crystal candle holders, I didn't. They were listed for $19.99 for the pair, and I was happy with my little Mikasa set for $3.99. So here I found a matching sugar pot to the cups I found earlier. It didn't have a price, and it was sitting in the candle section. I did end up taking it to cash, but you know, I left the entire set behind because I realized it's not actually an espresso set. It's more like a green tea set So this is the tile inside a frame and yes it is beautiful but you know I didn't like the frame and I didn't want to take it out of the frame. Here's an atlas jar and it's a mason jar it has it's also a um, measuring cup type thing with those holes on the top. I don't know what those are for. Is it to put your flowers in it? I don't know but it's definitely quite vintage and yes I know I can't sell it for $35 but that's okay because it's quite uh, rare. I haven't seen something like this. So these are curtain rings and I know they go for something on Etsy maybe, but I didn't want to get into that. So I left those behind eventually. This bowl was $12.99, um, silver plated I believe. But uh, yeah, no, I wasn't going to be able to sell this for more than 20 so. I have never bought beer cups, uh, glass ones, but maybe I should start because there was a lot of them here and they were kind of cool. Here's a pineapple jar for $4.99. It was all glass. Kind of seems like something from Michael. I know I could put some bath salts in there and maybe put a big spoon in there for the bath salts, but you know what? It's way too contemporary. So at the end, I left it behind. So here's an ashtray. The price tag is on top of a crack it has. I should have looked at it better. $3.99. It matches another ashtray I have, so I got it because people like to buy pairs of stuff. I could still sell it with the other ashtray. I'll just have to mention on here that there's like a crack in it. Not a structural damage, like it's not breaking into a bazillion pieces, but it's still there. You know what I mean. Okay, I really liked this beer cup thing. It was faceted, it was nice and slim, but there was only one of them and it had some sort of writing on it. I don't even know what the writing was. If I had found more of those, I probably would have gotten a set. This is a vase and I saw another version of it in another section, so I think it was lost. I picked up this big ashtray for $3.99 as well. I should have probably gotten this one because it has no cracks, but I left this one behind because I only wanted to get one ashtray because I have too many ashtrays in my booth right now. None of them are selling. 
Okay, here's a pan of my cart until I get to cash and I'm gonna do a little mini haul. So I thought I'd check out the furniture section, see if I find anything cool. A couple of tables, some side tables, some chairs, not bad. A bench needs some upholstery. This is clearly someone's project. They were trying to paint this or unpaint it or something. I thought I saw a nice wooden crate. Here's the steps. I could have probably taken the step stool thing. Anyway, the crate was kind of broken. Here is the beautiful teapot that I'd missed earlier. I thought this was completely contemporary. It says three pieces, two pieces. $7.99 for two pieces, and that's the top and the bottom, but it's actually not contemporary. It's, uh, look, it says B&G. It's like the, the writing on it tells me that it's vintage, and so then I Googled it, and it is. It's uh, Dutch, um, Dutch or Danish, sorry, Danish teapot very cute from the 70s and i looked later on and i think it comes with a cup anyways i got it but maybe i'll go look for a cup some other day here are the beautiful mikasa candle holders and i took some pictures at my house here are the perfumes bottles they look gorgeous i put them on my instagram so you can check that out here is the teapot i love it actually very pretty and very cute Okay, so my total was $65.67. That is with the 20% or 30% coupon. The coupon had a limit of $16.50, and that is what I got. $16.50 off. Um, so that was good because that antique uh, silver pot was $19, and I did not want to pay $19, especially since, like, what am I going to price it at? $80? Bucks? I can't. I mean, I could, and then not sell it for a year or two, or, you know, I, I don't know, maybe I need more patience. Anyways, um, I think overall a good haul. I'm glad I got that jar, it's really cute. And because I sacrificed those little cups um, for $9.99, I got the jar, and for $4.99, for $4 so I think that was a good, good swap, because I wasn't really feeling the cups that much you know see you then